Hey everybody, I am here today greeting you from the St. Lawrence Seaway. This is in the Canadian Thousand Islands. I'm actually on the largest of Canada's Thousand Islands on Wolf Island. And what you can see behind me, sort of over here, over there, is uh, actually New York, the state of New York in the United States. So I can actually swim. It will take me quite a while, but uh, I can actually swim to the states from here, you know, just in case Justin Trudeau comes looking for me. Um, I, I don't have a restraining order yet uh, that he has issued against me, so luckily I'm I'm allowed to stay for a little longer. Um, this week has been, or this past two weeks, I noticed that the top is still kind of following the same suit as it has been. What is happening is that the tops are absolutely loose and I can flick them off with my tongue. I can flick them off even just sucking a little bit on the inside of the tooth, uh, my inside of my teeth, my molars, and it just pops right off. So what I've been doing, just because I'm annoying the heck out of myself and I know that it's annoying other people, but I'm actually sucking on the top tray, which I know has to be completely aggravating. So. I am sort of just not wearing them during the day as much. I'll put them in, say, after I'm done eating for the day. Um, I'll brush my teeth early, earlier, and that way I also stop snacking. Still am down five pounds out of those eight. I, I've gained about three pounds back from when I had the stomach flu. So good news is that I'm down overall on the Invisalign diet, 10 pounds. So. Yeah, I think it's a total of 10 pounds. So anyway, just kind of keeping with it, obviously uh, not snacking helps, but having the stomach flu really did help. So um, right now I've got number five, yay. So I just, I can't believe it's been, it's been five, five trays worth. Uh, my top teeth are really, really, really amazing. I can't believe how straight they look to me. I just, I'm floored in just four trays that it they are that literally that's right I saw I, I was on a Facebook memory and I saw where uh, one of my I had a picture where I was kind of you know half smiling and oh my gosh I could see even ten years ago that my teeth were really starting to this one was starting to pop out and this one was starting to go in this one was actually starting to move back a little bit so uh, let me cut these out. Sorry. So what I'm noticing is my top ones and the sun's hitting them, they do seem to be a little bit darker. So I am, I totally forgot my whitening foam on vacation. So it's been a week since I've used any foam and I don't know if it's just because the lighting is a little bit different here in, in this bathroom than with my bathroom at home. I don't know what's going on, but I definitely can tell. And I can even see right now as I'm looking into the viewfinder that they just seem to be a little bit, the, the bottoms actually seem to be a little bit um, whiter than the top. So I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll get the whitening back on track. And maybe when I get home, I'm going to be back uh, in my house in Florida in a week and maybe the lighting there, it's just a lighting issue. So anyway, I'll go ahead and pop the bottom ones out. And I have my Chewies. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tops. These, my wind is really going today, so I'm hoping this isn't affecting the sound. They're blowing away. Uh oh. Okay, they're kind of pushing out a little bit. Definitely moving this top tooth forward for sure. Okay, not bad. Um, pressure as usual, but not really any pain. I'm gonna try to anchor this. All right, so here go the bottoms. Oh. All right, I'm gonna need the chewies for this. Oh, that hurts. Um, I have a lot of movement that needs to be done right here. I can see it. 
my teeth are kind of going down in this corner. <sighs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> A lot of there's a lot of pain right here so anyway oh by the way I did buy and I forgot to pack them but I will show them to you next week I did buy the grape version of the JES chewies and they are not I don't know I don't even know how to describe them they're not gross but they're just kind of like you're kind of weird so anyway Whenever I put the chewy here, the back flips up. I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, I'll be chewing through the rest of the night. <sighs> Take a little ibuprofen because the bottom is definitely, definitely a little painful right there at the bottom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you can hear this because the wind is pretty, is going pretty good. Um, I'll show you the rest of the property so there is the one end the neighbors are over there and you probably can't see yeah it's pretty bright but right here is back here sorry it's Lake Ontario so yeah there it is that's a better shot so right behind my shoulder here so I'm sticking my thumb in the, in the camera right there that is the mouth of Lake Ontario so not looking forward to going back to the triple digit heat and it's been nice having the 50s here at night <sighs> so anyway I'll probably be heading over and hanging out in this hammock right behind me so anyway I hope you guys have a great couple of weeks and I'll check in for tray number six